Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Mod channel, On Point Reviews, all day, every day. If you clicked on this thumbnail, you know what you're getting into, guys, okay? And I'm so excited to be the first person to really bring this out into uh, the YouTube world or just into the fragrance world, okay? I, I mean, this thing right here, I'm pretty sure is not talk about anywhere, all right? You never heard of this one anywhere else, okay? And I do wanna thank Mr. George Zaharoff for trusting me for doing this, okay? And, you know, he basically said, you're gonna be the first one to really, you know, put this out there into the world. And this is unreleased, like I said, it's gonna come out 2021. It's Zaharoff Signature Royale X. Zaharoff Signature Royale X. X insanity guys okay so story behind this is that uh well first i want to say that you know congratulations to george because he sold out of all the flankers okay the flankers royale and noir goners okay goners and so we were talking about how successful it went and he said man i want to thank you so much troy have you tried royale x and i was like royale x X like no I've never heard of that I was like what's that and then of course George says say no more a few days later in the mail I get this amazing Zaharoff like pouch this designer pouch okay I mean I guess he's getting into sort of uh I well we all know Zaharoff uh loves like Louis Vuitton designer stuff and you know this is this is a sign right here I think he's getting into the designer stuff card holders wallets uh, because the patterns are starting to come out here. Are the patterns is really cool right there. So I got this pouch right here. I open it up and the first thing I get is Signature Royale, which is by the way, my little boy's favorite perfume. He loves sniffing Royale just like his dad. I love Royale, okay? So Royale first came out and the second one is of course the super secret decant of Signature Royale X and let me show you guys the X and it's crossed out right here It's got an X right here, and I'll tell you guys the story behind this But this is it signature Royale X. So we're going to go through this together I mean, I'll give you guys the scoop on what this is about and then also give you guys a scoop of what this smells like Okay, so I'll break it down ahead of time. Okay again. I want to thank George Anyways, let's do this hit the music <laughs> Okay, we're back guys. Zaharoff Signature Royale X. Let's go spray this right now. Amazing. Damn. Woo! Okay, so Zaharoff, first and foremost guys, for those that have never heard of Zaharoff, I mean, I will stick to what I've said before, okay? From my first review months ago when this channel started. Zaharoff, the OG one, really reminds me of, you know, my dad was a pilot, you know, he was a captain, you know, in an airline company. And this is something really close to what he would wear. Whether it would be his perfume, cologne, aftershave, it, it just, it, it reminds me so much of it, the OG, okay? And that's what I love so much, you know, it, it's, uh, Zaharoff's like initial inspiration had something to do with traveling, uh, flying and I was just like I was blown away at how they were linked to how you know something that my dad would wear you know he was a pilot for gosh like almost like 25 years 20 25 27 years so uh, man I mean this is so great and so this is something that you know he wore you know when he got out of the shower he put on his you know his uniform uh, and he smelled great like this it will always remind me of you know my father who's now 80, uh, but when he was a, a pilot, you know? So anyways, very refreshing. All Zaharoffs are very refreshing, straight out of the shower, immediate grabber. Uh, I mean, this fragrance does have elements of balsam fir, for example, cypress. So you do have those very uh, coniferous, uh, cool, uh, and, and very nice airy elements, okay, in Zaharoff. So, I mean, absolutely fresh, without a doubt. But this one right here, guys, 
why is it named X anyways? I mean, is it the X-Men? Is it because, you know, X just sounds cool, you know, when you add X? Well, yeah, sure, <laughs> all right? But actually, guys, it's crossed out, and it's crossed out in a marker. It's not, it's not X'd out because uh, of a graphic. There's no graphic here, okay? But it's, it's X'd out because it didn't make the cut for this year. This Zaharoff Royal X should have been Royale. Okay, so this formula here that I have, that I'm currently wearing right now, this should have been the Royale, not the one you're wearing right now, you know, back in your house. Uh, this got cut and is going to be released next year as a different thing. Why? Because the inspiration uh, for Zaharoff uh, Signature Royale X was deemed to be a little bit risque, a little bit cray cray. All right. I mean, I heard about it, but I was like, no, there's nothing crazy about this. I mean, this is, this is, I mean, this is okay. But what's the inspiration for X? Okay. The inspiration for X is basically this. You still get out of the shower. Okay. So in the previous Zaharoffs, you get out of the shower and then you're headed to work. You're headed to, to fly your planes like my dad. But in this case, guys, this is a different scenario, okay? It's out of the shower and, you know, getting intimate with someone. Laying in bed, getting intimate, doing the dirty dirty after getting off of the shower. That's the inspiration of Signature Royale X. Pretty crazy, <laughs> right? Because most of us, we wear Zaharoff because we're going to get out of the house and do some uplifting, you know, vibes as we get out. No, this one is... And it's funny because the video I did before this for Big Beard Business, I was talking about the first date. This one is about laying in bed and getting sweaty, all right? So what an inspiration. And once I heard that, I was like, man, I want to try this out so bad. Okay. So anyways, let's talk about this for a second here. So the inspiration is definitely getting out of the shower. So you do know that the first part of this will be uh, pretty much refreshing still. It will still have that signature Zaharoff freshness, which is, you know, you'll have, uh, you know, parts of like that lavender is going to be there, obviously. And then you're also going to have uh, Cypress, which is like really a, a fresh part of that intro. But the difference here, guys, with Signature Royale X is that there's going to be a citrus blend, okay? And to my nose, I do detect bergamot, I do detect grapefruit, and it's going to be uh, in, a, in a bigger dose, you know, than usual, okay? So for a lot of y'all, when you smell uh, the original... You'll get the lavender, you'll get to pick up that lavender in the beginning and then cardamom. But in this case, guys, it's citrus from the get-go. It's a nice citrus blend, okay? And that citrus blend, you know, goes for about maybe 20, 25 minutes. But then you'll also see elements of the original, the lavender. Uh, you'll also get a little bit of that cardamom. You're going to get that cypress. I mean, it's still going to be there. It's just that the start is citrusy. And it, it's the, uh, it basically talks about that shower, you know, you're taking that fresh shower and then you just got out. So it's like really, really fresh. On the mid notes, you will still be getting the best parts of the OG. I'm not talking about Royale here, okay? I know that this is called Royale X, but uh, this has nothing to do with Royale. This has nothing to do with this one, okay? So it's more closely linked to the OG. So as it continues, guys, you're going to get elements of the OG. You're still going to get the iris. You're still going to get the balsam fir. Uh, you're still going to get that Indonesian oud. But the tweak here, guys, the big tweak here is he did put a huge amount of white musk. All right. So white musk is the second element that's really included here. The big tweak here is white musk. And the white musk basically signifies that intimacy. All right, because I mean, he did some research about, you know, the smell of getting in the dirty, dirty. And, you know, musk was, I mean, to him, the most appropriate thing. And it's a huge curve, guys. Okay, because it's like, it's like the freshness of the OG, 
but then the curve guys is definitely that white musk okay and for those who don't know about white musk white musk is actually a synthetic musk in that this is obviously cleaner and uh, somewhat soapy actually it's it's a cleaner musk versus say you know that that deer musk that isn't allowed anymore but of, of course it still slips the cracks but the non-synthetic musks are definitely way more animalic and all that but the white musk is obviously cleaner and uh, I mean is definitely sexy once the white musk comes in that's the huge tweak right there because I mean normally it goes into something incensey woody and then still fresh but then here comes the white musk to curve everything and then now you've got that scenario so that's why I explained that scenario from the get-go guys you get out of the shower getting intimate because you are going to get some really nice citruses in the beginning part of the OG blend and then later on on the mid actually it immediately goes into the white musk okay so just imagine it's sort of like wearing Zaharoff while doing the dirty dirty <laughs> okay while you're getting into it you're wearing Zaharoff okay and the white musk again it does signify that it smells like skin and hot dirty dirty that's what it is but it's still again very very clean right here now the dry down to me is pretty much the same like the OG. You'll still get your frankincense, you'll still get your patchouli, you'll still get your sandalwood. Um, I do like the incense. I mean that's something that I really liked about the OG. Uh, and that's why I, I would always consider Royale as the best flanker. I mean I know that Noir is appealing, it's really nice to wear guys, but I mean when I do think about flankers, I like the risk, you know. I like the risk that's being put uh really changing it up guys okay and giving you know those people something new and i think that royale was the one that really you know gave me something new versus the noir in this case guys we take a trip back to the og okay this is more like the og because it will have that frankincense on the dry down which i mean i missed on royale still has that pimento to warm it up guys still has the Australian sandalwood, still has that temple oud, but like I said, curved by a copious amount of white musk, all right? White musk all the way here, all right? So, I mean, this fragrance here, guys, the reason why it was X'd was because of that message, okay? Which I think is fine. I've, I've seen crazier, <laughs> okay? But um it was x'd out and that's why there's x okay so this isn't like some sort of like like cool name that was thought of it's like yeah let, let's put x like x-men no 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 it's not it's just it was crossed out basically he said no we're not going to release this because this one uh talks about doing the dirty dirty well he will still be releasing this guys zaharov will still release signature royale x next year but in a new packaging it's gonna be in a new packaging it's not gonna be the same bottle as what he said he said it's gonna blow people away so it's not gonna be in the same packaging and as an underground scent I don't know what that means guys he said it's gonna be out as an underground scent I don't know what that is <laughs> I don't know it, it, it seems like something uh, something crazy but he said it's gonna be an underground scent signature Royale X guys don't forget it guys so for those that love Zaharoff so much that you're gonna wear it until the end, the closer stage, all right? Or the doing the deed day. I mean, this one's it, okay? I mean, I really feel that white musk, that tweak of that white musk, really amazing. I mean, for some of y'all, I'll tell you this, when you smell that citrus blend, you might not even think you're smelling the original Zaharoff, okay? So those are the two things I can say. The citrus blend, when you smell it, you might not even really feel like it's the original Zaharoff because uh, the citrus blend is pretty strong from the get-go. But of course, as it goes, if you know your Zaharoff and you love your Zaharoff, you're going to be smelling a lot of the elements of the OG. But again, ending part, guys, the musk is absolutely sensual. It's absolutely... Se it's, a, it's a total curve, period. Okay, I mean, yes, there's the incense part, but... The musk really curves it and is absolutely sexy. I mean, this is really a perfect uh, inspiration to actual fragrance match, okay? So that one is really, really cool. And again, 
I do want to thank George for, you know, trusting me with this, okay? I mean, he definitely did. And he said, you know, man, you got a really great nose, Troy. You got to tell the world about this. Um, and so that's how, you know, it all happened, okay? So this is really great. Now, this was given to me by George, but I'm sure he would allow me to do this. I'm 100%. I mean, I'm sure it won't get mad or whatever. But, I mean, this is sold out. The original Royale, okay? The original Royale is sold out. I'm going to give this away. I don't know how many MLs this is. Maybe 10. Maybe 10 ML. But I'll give this away. My son's going to miss this. But <laughs> I'll give this away. I'm going to give this away because it's Christmas. All you got to do is comment mine below. And add me on Instagram. So follow this channel. Add me on Instagram. Troidy247frag. Put mine here. And that's it. We're going to raffle the winner. Maybe, what, Christmas? Yeah, Christmas maybe. Okay, let's do that. But I will give away this one right here. I'm going to keep the pouch though. <laughs> okay? I'm going to keep the pouch because I like this one. I mean, I use it for, you know, my perfumes. I put some perfumes here. Okay? Lovely perfume holder for me. So, yeah. I'll be giving that away. But, yeah. I mean, this is amazing. Thank you again to George. I'm really blessed that, you know, we're given this opportunity to like, you know, talk about fragrances that aren't even released. Crazy. But yeah, I mean, this Royale X is really, really interesting. Definitely for the Zaharoff lover that wants the uh, fade to black version of Zaharoff. the so fade to black. Blinds closed. One light on. And then dim the lights. That's what it's about. Okay, so signature Royale X. Thank you for being with me guys today, for spending some time watching the video for Zaharoff Signature Royale X. Let me know in the comments below which Zaharoff hits you the most. Is it the OG, the Noir, or the Royale? Let me know in the comments below guys, okay? I would love to know. And I would love to know what you guys love the most about Zaharoff. Because I'm sure George is going to watch this once this is out. So comment below if you got something to say to George. I'm sure he's going to read it, okay? And if you are down with Zaharoff guys. Now, this is just one of the ones, I think this is one of three releasing next year. So hopefully he'll send us the other two. If you're down with Zaharoff, like and subscribe. Okay, helps the channel in many ways. Your liking, subscribing, chatting, talking, uh, commenting, sharing is a big deal. Watching the ads is a big deal. Okay, helps the channel, helps me pump out stuff every day. This ain't easy, all right? So until then, guys, I love y'all. Happy holidays. It's a great day. Just enjoy it. Just make sure you stay safe. Peace.